Three men are handed lengthy prison terms for plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer. Joe Morrison, Pete Musico, and Paul Bellar, recently convicted at the state level on charges related to terrorism, were part of the Wolverine Watchmen paramilitary group. Two other members have been convicted at the federal level in the same plot against the governor. Victor Williams live with today's sentences and also the reaction from state leaders. Victor. Yes, Devin, it certainly seems like the world has been watching with this story, making major headlines. But now we're seeing how it's playing out, at least for three of the defendants involved. Members of the Wolverine Watchmen, Joe Morrison, Pete Musico, and Paul Bellar set before a judge learning their fate for their roles in the plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. In the end, the trio would receive decades behind bars, with Musico being sentenced to 12 to 42 years, Morrison received 10 to 42 years, and Paul Bellar was ordered to a seven-year sentence. The news resulting in lots of tears. I have a lot of judgment. I've been a good citizen. I've, I've been a family man. I've taken care of my family. The defendants were found guilty of providing material support for a terrorist act and other charges associated with the kidnapping plot that failed. But now how the tables have turned, Governor Whitmer was able to speak her mind with the pre-recorded victim impact statement. If you want my advice about what to do with men like this, it's simple. Impose a sentence that meets the gravity of the damage they have done to our democracy. In court, all three seemed remorseful. I made mistakes. I acted recklessly and carelessly with my words. I, I got around the wrong people. I would like to apologize to the governor. Uh, again, the very stupid comments I made. I know I meant her any harm. But in the end, no mercy was given. Attorney General Dana Nessel explains why. I mean, it's not just. Um, this effort to kidnap the governor. And I think we know what would come next in the event that that actually occurred. We're talking about individuals that wanted to murder law enforcement and also to kill other public officials as well. And we're still waiting to see what will happen in the sentencing of alleged plot leader Adam Fox, as well as Barry Croft Jr., as well as other defendants that are now facing charges as well. Remember, there were 14 people arrested for this failed plot. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor.